March 6, 2017, three appellate judges declared former lands minister Charity Ngilu's trial over a land in Karen unconstitutional and directed the anti-corruption court to terminate the case. Ngilu was in June 19, 2016, alongside six other suspects, charged with obstructing commission officials from investigating the 134-acre Karen land scandal. But today, his lawyer Paul Muite presented a court of appeal order that cleared Ngilu from the case. He told senior principal magistrate Lawrence Mugambi that it is only his client who was removed from the case. Mugambi directed the DPP to amend the charge sheet and expand Ngilu's name from the charges. I had said to Kenyans that I, I know at long last I'll be vindicated, and today I've been vindicated. And I've also forgiven my aggressors for what they did for no good reason. And that does not mean that some of us who really want to see a better Kenya will stop there. Some of which were served. Elsewhere, the High Court has ordered immediate opening of Party of National Union PNU bank accounts that were frozen by the Banking Fraud Unit. Justice George Odunga directed that the accounts be opened within three days. PNU, through lawyer Okongo Omogeni, told the court that the action by Banking Fraud Unit had paralyzed the party's operations. The officials of the Party of National Unity have been allowed to assume full control and the running of the party, including operations of the party's bank accounts. Those enemies of PNU who want them to finish PNU by merging it with other party have never given up. They have been trying all sorts of machinations, but all those machinations have been failing. And two women accused of failing to report terror-related activities have pleaded not guilty to the charges. The women who were arrested in Nyeri are accused of willfully failing to report that a young man known to them had joined Al-Shabaab terror group in Somalia. Yunis Wanjiku Washira and Caroline Mudoni Mwangi appeared before Principal Magistrate Charity Oluoch, who released them on a 100,000 shillings cash bail each. Lilian Utieno for Scales of Justice.